It is 722 on your Tuesday. Welcome back to Good Day Savannah. So it may be Tuesday, but we are already looking ahead to the weekend. And if you need something fun to do, you want to help out an amazing organization, well, check out the Savannah Speakeasy. It's for the Matthew Reardon Center for Autism. Joining me this morning with all the details, Patty Victor. She is director of the Matthew Reardon Center. Now, just for folk who may not be familiar, what is the Matthew Reardon Center for Autism? The Matthew Reardon Center for Autism is an organization that was begun about 15 years ago. Um, we operate a school for children with autism who have been diagnosed with autism. We have advocacy services, which is where when families uh, with children who have autism need community resources, mm -hmm. we put them in touch with the community resources. Uh, we also have outreach where we have professionals who go into other school systems, other school settings, into therapeutic settings, and actually assist in training professionals wow. with how to um, help children with autism. Because let's be honest, I mean, in just the last year, I mean, those numbers have skyrocketed. I think we're talking one in 68 now. One in from the 68. CDA. That's, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. And now parents here locally, they have a resource, somewhere to go. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Fantastic. Um, Talk to me though, what is this Savannah Speakeasy event all about? Um, the Speakeasy event is a fun evening. It will be this Friday, May the 9th um, at the Andaz Savannah, uh, which is a downtown hotel. Um, it's speaking, uh, delayed speech development is one of the first symptoms of autism. Mm -hmm. So we're sort of doing a little play on the words here. Uh, the Savannah Speakeasy because speech therapy is very important to children with autism. Right. It is something we offer as part of our regular curriculum at, at Matthew Reardon. Um, the evening itself, though, is going to be a fun night of, <laughs> uh, in a casino, basically. Yeah. Um, we will have funny money. Um, we'll have table, roulette table and cas um, different casino games. Uh, Monte Carlo Productions is doing it for oh, us, so that's really a professional organization. A lot of fun for the evening. We're encouraging people to... Uh, come the in flapper there, attire. flapper attire, exactly, <laughs> well, flapper gangster and gangster here. attire, that's right. Yeah, the guys can wear gangster if they want to. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, it is t um, Friday night, it is from 6.30 to 10.30, is that correct? 6.30 to 10.30, we also have a silent auction there. Uh, Matthew Reardon, uh, in terms of funding, we are a private organization, and we receive about 67% of our funding from different uh, state organizations, okay. so we have to raise wow. the other 33 percent, um, and this and is one lot. of our major fundraisers for the year. Um, last year, how did you do on fundraising? Well, we, we're still open and we're going strong, so okay. <laughs> so the, commu the community is very supportive. I guess pretty and, well then. And we are looking forward to Terrific. that support on Friday night. Now, tickets, 80 bucks a piece. I will have information for you on our website, wjcl.com, how you can get those tickets so you can experience this awesome evening to benefit the Matthew Reardon Center. It, again, the Savannah Speakeasy, Friday, May 9th. It is from 6.30 to 10.30 at the Andes Hotel. Do I Andes. And Daz Hotel, I do not say that correctly. And we offer valet parking. Oh, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> um, real quick, while we have just a minute, give me just one example of success that you've been able to witness, um, a child learning to speak or just learning to look his mom and dad in the eye. Uh, we have a young man in our community who came to Matthew Reardon many years ago, um, virtually without uh, being able to speak, and he now is 26 and he uh, drives himself to work wow. every day um, and continues to stay in touch with us. Um, I think he's one of our big success stories. That just made my heart squeeze. Good. <laughs> That's great. I'm so glad you're able to accomplish some good things. I mean, the autism is a, a big deal here in our community and having a group that can fight back, it's huge. So thank you for being here with us this morning. Thank you. All right, everybody. It is 727 on your Tuesday. Still to come, an interview. It turns heated when a political candidate catches a reporter in a no-no. We'll have that story from Jeannie Mose coming up. Stay with us.